The Tommy Horrix Show, starring Tommy Horrix, and featuring the best in local and regional musical talent. And now your host, Tommy Horrix. Hi, folks, and welcome to another show. We're going to start off with a little bit of humor for you this week. We've got a very accomplished musician and vocalist, and he does a little bit of everything in the music business. Not only that, he's a good friend of mine. His name is Robert Gunn. And even though I get to start this tune, he's going to do a number for you that was the Frankie Valley style. It's a number called Bread and Butter. Take it away, Robert. We'll be right back after these messages. Great job, Bob. Love that bread and butter. Well, we got Steve Herman, Terry Agambar, Steve Bousset, Jack Sherrard, and Kim Kurlick. Uh, I think most of those are Westport guys, except maybe for Jack Sherrard. And uh, listen to these lyrics, folks. People say you're crazy to wait for your toys. Just, cha just charge it to the bank. Keep up with the boys. If mom and dad had it, then I should have it too. You forget uh, it took them 30 years before their time was due. Uh, that was written by Steve Herman, Terry Agambar. This is a number that uh, they wrote. They say they're having an album come out in the near future, and this is going to be the title song from the album. So here they are, Steve Herman and the Jukes, a number called Pay Your Dues. Take it away, guys.
I think that's a great song, you guys. I think it's going to go places. What do you think, folks? Pay your dues. Steve Herman and the Jukes. Well, we got a uh, little lady who uh, won the talent shows uh, in the early fall, and her name is Sandy Hay. She's going to do a number that was done by Tina Turner, of all people, and it's a number called What's Love Got to Do With It? Here is Sandy Hay, What's Love Got to Do With It? A little number there, Sandy. I enjoyed that one, too. Well, we're a happy crew here today. Rob's got his girlfriend back again. Everybody's sending in recipes for, uh, for Norm and Margaret, and Norm's not wasting away anymore, excepting that whoever sent in the recipe about broccoli, Norm will not eat broccoli, and uh, that's unfortunate, so Margaret's trying. Uh, my good buddy over there, Philip Aylward, he just got a brand-new Takamini guitar, and he's really happy. How are you doing, Phil? Super, Tom. Just Take it away. Take it away. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, without too much further ado, my good friend and mentor, Mr. Tom Horrocks, is going to take you back to the days of sock hops and greasers and Inspiration Point and drive-ins. Uh, he's going to do an Everly Brothers tune for you. It's called Wake Up Little Susie. <laughs> Wake up, little Susie. Wake up, little Susie. 
friend when they say, Ooh la la, wake up little Susie, wake up little Susie. Well, I told your mama that she'd be home by ten. and his guests will be right back. Great job, Tom. No, I'm just kidding, folks. Actually, I was clapping for the young lady and the Jeep, which Tembro put back together again. Thank you, thank you. We're going to take you from the uh, uh, 50s to the early 80s. And uh, before we do, I've got to tell you about this next young lady. She's actually from Atacokan. Uh, she's a great singer. And she's my sister-in-law, which I'm actually very proud of. Uh, she was in a group called Pepper and Mint. They traveled all across the country. My wife was in that band also, and I was the manager. Probably shouldn't have told you that. But anyway, uh, everybody decided that it was, was much better to uh, get married and have a family than a musical career, and I don't think the girls are regretting it any. As you see, they're still singing and singing quite well. And Janine is going to do a number that was done by Fleetwood Mac. It's from, uh, as I said before, the early 80s, a number called Dreams. Here she is. Janine Stoos and Dreams.
Doesn't she do a great job of that tune? Janine Stoos, ladies and gentlemen. Well, gee, the time is going by so quickly here. I can't believe the show is almost over. Uh, I would like to make mention of our special keyboard player, Sandy Octava, good friend of Norman's and uh, the Stardust Girl. She comes down to the talent shows quite often. Thanks for coming down, Sandy. Folks, uh, I would like to thank you for your letters. Uh, Margaret and Norman have got a lot of recipes already. And we would like to thank the lady that offered to spend half of her uh, pension check on getting us to go and play in Jerry Rule's place. We do appreciate the gesture, and thanks for writing in. It was very nice. We'd like you to invite you to keep your comments coming to the show. We like your guidance. Anything that you like on the show, tell us about it, because it does help us in planning future events. Uh, we're going to take you to uh, the horse show. Oh, before we do, i got to tell you this. Uh, Pay Your Dues by Steve Herman and the Jukes uh, was done at the office. And we do like to tell everybody where it was. And here's one that was done in the horseshoe. It's by magazine and a number called Sanctuary. Take it away. <laughs> 